Now, <coughs> these deer can move in and out of here really, really easy. Um, it's really cool, I got some buck rubs right on these horizontal limbs over here, so I know a buck was coming in and out of here anyways. So now I'm just making it so much easier for him. And cut this path so bucks could get on this cedar tree. They've been working it so far this year, but I gave them a lot more space so they could come in and work this. Cut this trail right down like this. And then I came in, and this was nothing but, see all that thick prickly ash? It was exactly the same in here, but I had an opening. So I cut all of it out, and I put an exit going out this way. So nobody's boxed in, so there's an exit down here. And then I'm gonna blow all the leaves off, uh, seed it with the seclusion mix from John Comp's Northwoods Whitetails. I've got a, another room over here. You can see my hole. I've got a way in and out there. See that triple oak? I'm gonna throw a stand in there for next rut. Now this is, this is a blockage, okay? But I come in here and you can see I cut cut an opening, cleared this all out. I've got a really nice isolated separate hump. And this is where I expect the buck to bed most of the time because he's going to be away from all the doe groups that are over there. I even pulled an elm and a couple of ash trees over to give him overhead cover. A trail that I cut over there. And then this comes right down around here. Right out to this one. And, and then the coolest thing is this connects to a real big travel corridor. You can see the travel corridor. I got a scrape limb right here. 